Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Quantum Leap Futures Morning Leap Session for Monday, November the 26th, 2018. My name is Ted McCain, the founder of Quantum Leap Futures. Each morning, we get, get, to, get together in these live go-to sessions to take a look at the market, macro to micro, take a look at the structure of the market, and we drill down to our trade levels, our targets, and our hypotheses for the day. Hypotheses are our trade plans. We do create multiple trade plans. We do not know what the market's going to do. There we're, therefore, we have a scenario in place, wait for the market to open up, and then execute the plan that best suits the market. And then as the market context changes, we adjust our plans. Please read through the disclaimer. Nobody from Quantum Leap is a certified trading advisor. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Any trades that you see in Quantum Leap are for education purposes only. Please trade your own due diligence, your trade plan, and your own risk metrics. Taking a look at uh, Friday. Well, we had basically two holiday sessions, which could really add Wednesday in, but the holiday sessions due to the volatility uh, actually had some pretty good range, but pretty balanced overall in the uh, in the uh, holiday session. Now we did close near the lows and uh, and uh, near this week low at the 27, 28 in the two holiday sessions. So we were looking for expansion lower uh, in the Globex. We got down to 26 and then they rallied from 26 rotated all the way through the holiday sessions and here we are and we're back up in the uh, wet last full session which was Wednesday and uh, this is where we expect to see the action today we're gonna have a gap up over the holiday now most people will scrub their data and take out the two holiday sessions I don't I I think if it traded it's gonna be reported and uh, our, you know, even if it's in the RTH only in a half session, and with this range, I think it's important because it shows some decent valid areas, uh, a balance area uh, to lean against. So uh, let's just take a uh, step back. Let's take a look at the news. We just had uh, Chicago na uh, Fed national activity uh, that is uh, 0 0.24 expected at 0 0.14. Um, we don't have a lot of news today. We've got uh, Dallas Fed at 1030. And then we've got three month and six month bill auction at uh, 1130. Then we've got the two year note at, uh, at uh, one o'clock. And then of course, we've got this whole Brexit and the Brexit uh, window is, uh, is coming close. So that we're gonna get a lot of headline news uh, out of Europe uh, pertaining to Brexit. Taking a look at the uh, overall news this week, um, we've got FOMC Kalinda Clarita speaking at 8.30 tomorrow. Nine o'clock, we've got uh, uh, 8.55 Red Book, then we've got house price indexes, and then 10 o'clock, we've got the CB Consumer Confidence, and then the Dallas Fed at 10.30, and then uh, ECB Mersh is going to speak at 11, and then we get the four-week and eight-week bill bill option at 11:30 and five-year note. Uh, we're going to have a, a bunch of speakers on Tuesday afternoon from the Fed. Uh, remember that it is uh, Fed minutes. Wednesday is going to be the big day. Wednesday we've got GDP and all its associates. Then we've got uh, new home sales and all its associates. 10:30, we've got crude oil and all its uh, 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 all its associates, and then we've got noon. We've got uh, Fed Chair Powell speaking, and seven-year note at one o'clock. And where is my Fed? Oh, is it not Wednesday? I guess it's Thursday that the minutes come out. So big news day on Wednesday, and then yeah, you've got uh, Draghi speaking over in the Globex. Then 8.30, we've got uh, continuing jobless claims and PCE. Then 10 o'clock, we've got pending homes, natural gas storage at 10.30, and Chicago Fed Evans speaks at uh, 2 o'clock, and the minutes come out. So a uh, big two days on Wednesday and Thursday, and then Friday, 
Friday, we've got uh, a bunch of Canadian uh, GDP stuff, and 9.45, uh, 9 o'clock, uh, Fed Williams speaks, 9.45 PMI, the rig count at 1 o'clock, and basically that's it for the week. But Wednesday and Thursday will be the, uh, the two big weeks. So taking a look at the macro, each day I start with a simple candlestick chart, start on a monthly Start working my way down to uh, uh, each uh, periodicity. Uh, what I'm looking at is a 9 EMA, 20 SMA. I'm seeing uh, where we are in terms of the trend, the strength of the trend. Do we get good slope and separation? Are we getting price parallel in the 9? On the monthly, 14 months of one time framing up. February violated that, but we held the 9 and uh, and then continued to the rally. Then October, we break back below the 9, test the 20 bounce so far in november we've gotten back above the nine and here we are uh basically trading be, uh, between the nine ema and the 20 sma got to pay attention to the 2650 area uh that's going to bring us back below the 20 and could accelerate this to the downside going to the weekly you can see that uh, we are in this weekly downtrend uh, we failed uh, the last two weeks to get above the 9 EMA. A move up to the 9 EMA will take us up into the 27.36 area and back up into that big time balance uh, between 27.50 and 27.31 uh, area. Um, we got a possible uh, technical gap uh, with Mr. Sneaky. Uh, we'll watch for that. Uh, but we are below the 9 and the 20 going to the daily. You can see that uh, we are still in this downward trend. We don't get above the 9 until we get above the 2683.50. And then going to the intraday, <clears throat> you can see that they basically uh, have uh, base down here, and we're getting back above the 9 and the 20. We have a naked cross down here at 2646.50. Look for that to get taken out this week at some point in time. Don't know if it will be today. Uh, a technical gap will take us down to the 2649. I'm using the 2647 to 50 area as my over underline. Going to the 30 minute, you can see that we were uh, starting to uh, trend back up and we're coming back right now. We broke below the nine and we're coming back to test it right now. So, on the larger time frames, we're seeing uh, a possible trend change. Uh, but we are seeing what happened in the Globex. Let's take a look at that. We bit, uh, we opened and basically were about 95 to 98% uh, net long in time and price. Uh, we're very much a trend type uh, uh, a profile. We had the VPOC shift up from where it was most of the night. You can see VPOC is shifting up. Um, and we've got this larger distribution. <coughs> and the LVN essentially is all the way down here in the 47 range uh, by that holiday session high there and the VPOC at 49. So that's why I'm using my over underline. So we are going to gap up from the close on the holiday, but we uh, Thursdays, Thursday's close uh, is here, so we're, I'm sorry, Wednesday, the last full session, close was on the lows, and, uh, and we're going to gap up above that as well. So we've got a gap up against the holiday, a gap up against the last full session RTH. Uh, so we're going to be opening up outside of, uh, of range um, from the holiday, but inside of range uh, from the uh, from the last full session. So we're back in this balance on Wednesday. Uh, the value area low is here at the 57 and a quarter. Below that, I'm looking for the gap to get closed and, uh, and then test this over underline. So in terms of hypotheses, my hypo one, because of the trend type scenario uh, overnight, and we're back in balance on Thursday, I'm looking for a open auction out of range. I'm looking for a move down towards this 47 uh, area, and I'm looking for 
buyers to step in here, rotate us up, and take us back up over uh, the overnight high. Uh, the average true range right now is running, the 20 period full session average true range is running at 53.57. So off of the overnight low, uh, our overnight low was 31.50. And our overnight high is 66. So our daily uh, uh, ATR targets, our upside target is 26.85. Our downside target is 26.12.50. And uh, we have range capabilities. But my uh, my focus is the fact that we did violate that one time framing down last week, and we're finding a trend type scenario. I'm looking for buyers to, to step in and take us up and test the year open, where is also my key line in the sand. So I'm looking for an open auction out, out of range. I'm looking for a move down into the 47, maybe the 43, but somewhere between there, buyers step in, rotate us up, take out the naked depot from Wednesday, then uh, the uh, overnight high and push up into the 75 and then I'm looking for failure in the 75 area to 85 area and then come back and rotate and close somewhere inside of Wednesday's range. That is hypo one. Hypo two is equally weighted because of the fact that uh, we were trending down uh, in the larger time frames. I'm looking for an over uh, open auction out of range, a push up, take out the overnight high and <clears throat> somewhere between the 67 and 75, I'm looking for sellers to step in, rotate us down, break below uh, Wednesday's high and Friday's, uh, I'm sorry, Wednesday's low and Friday's high and push down and keep down coming down and come down and put a new month low in and come down towards this 2610 area to 2603. And we remember that our month low is all the way down I think it was 26.03. Let me just confirm that. No, last month's low, I should say. Yeah, last month's low was 26.03. So we still have uh, possibilities of extending down. Hypo 3 is going to be a gap and go day against the holiday. It's not really a gap day. Uh, in terms of range because of Wednesday being the full session. But I'm looking for an open test drive, failure to get uh, down to close the gap, uh, the naked close from Wednesday at 48 and a quarter. I'm looking for buyers to step in early, take us up through the key line in the sand and through the year open, fill in the half gap and push up through into this 85 to 95 area. That is hypo uh, three. Hypo four is a uh, failure day, a open auction, uh, I'm sorry, open test drive, take out the overnight high and the naked VPOC from Wednesday, fail, rotate us down through the holiday ranges, come down, break through the month low at uh, 2626 and then fail and come down here into testing the uh, month low at 20 or last month's low at 26.03. Let's put that in there so it's there. And come down into this 20, 25.95.50 and continue the uh, the trend down. So that's what I'm looking at. I'm not going to do gold. Uh, we're running late. Uh, that's going to complete our pre-market session. As always, trade well, trade safe, and we'll catch you on the flip side.